knock out, knock in, and knock down. Knock out. This is when we permanently inactivate a gene. And so we're preventing any functional RNA from being made. We're preventing protein from being made. This is typically done by targeting the genome using a tool like CRISPR. Knock down. Here we're just reducing levels of the product that are made. So we're not permanently changing that actual genome in terms of we're not inactivating that gene forever. We're just reducing the levels of the product. So we're kind of turning the volume down on it. The way that this is often done is by targeting the messenger RNA copies that are made from that gene. Often this is done using RNA interference or RNAi, using short RNAs, and so this could be a SI RNA, it could be a short hairpin RNA, an SH RNA. These will get processed into these small RNA guides that will bind to a protein called Argonaut. Argonaut will then use them to find the complementary sequences in messenger RNAs for the proteins that they target. Argonaut will bind to those sites and shut down the translation of the protein, cause degradation of the mRNA, basically prevent protein from being made. But you still have those original genetic instructions intact, and so you're not altering the ability of these cells to make the protein in the future. You're just kind of reducing it right now. Knock in, this is the opposite of a knock out. So here we're introducing a gene. This can be done with CRISPR. It can also be done with techniques like homologous recombination. Sometimes you might see a tool like Crelox recombination used. Basically, you have little sites on the sides of the sequence you want to kind of knock in or you want to knock out, and then you kind of swap the regions in and out. That swapping requires special recombinases to be made, and you can make it so that these recombinases are only made in specific cell types at specific times, or in response to the addition of specific drugs. This can either be used to just generate these cell lines or to do a conditional knock-in or conditional knock-out. This is often used if you want to see what a gene does in a specific tissue type or at a specific point in development. It might also be used if you have a gene whose product is essential. And so basically you couldn't just knock it out from the beginning because the organism wouldn't develop this sort of thing. And so instead you say, okay, I'm going to put the recombination machinery under the control of a motor that's controlled by a transcription factor that's only made in specific cell types, it's only made at specific times, it only binds to the site in response to me adding this antibiotic or something like that. And in this way, you're able to conditionally knock in or conditionally knock out the gene from the specific type of cell or at the specific time. That would be a conditional knock in or conditional knock out. In those cases, you're then dealing again with the genome when you're dealing with this knock out, sometimes abbreviated KO, or knock in. And then the knock down, they're just dealing with the levels of the messenger RNA typically, 